thank you for joining me again um, for this class today. Uh, we will be using a fifth, uh, Pilates Magic Circle. If you don't have one of those, uh, you can also use a, a Pilates uh, ball, a small ball that, that, that should suffice for most things. And we can always do variations. Uh, you can use a, a big pillow at, at home uh, to, to kind of squeeze on and to help you as, as a guide and as an aid, an aid. And if not, then just your wonderful imagination. Girls like we did in the last classes. So two hands on your knees and we have curling in on an exhale. Try to get a nice back stretch here and inhale to grow tall. And again, curls. And inhale to grow tall. Curling in and inhale. Last one, curling in and inhale to grow tall. And let's take this one more step. Let's go swimming. So we have hands together, squeezing the hands together lightly. Inhale. Extend your spine long and exhale, pushing the air up to grow, the air down, sorry, to grow. And again, inhale and exhale. We have a little curl here and inhale and exhale, grow and in the end, add a little curl and in and and two more. And exhale. Good. Now we got ourselves moving a little bit. Let's hold on to this Pilates magic circle. I'm really holding it with the back side of the, of the palm of my hand and extending my fingers long. My elbows are slightly bent here, so my arms are not completely extended. There's something that's soft here, and my shoulders are drawn back as I sit taller on my sits bones. And then I have, exhale, squeeze the circle and grow tall. And in. Squeezing the circle as you grow tall. We have eight more. Feel your feet anchoring down. They can really help you maybe a little bit, kind of grow taller on your sits bones. For five. For four. Three. Two. Might really start to be feeling your your arms, your pecs working here. Last one, and let's take this on a twist, right? So this is a really light twist. Yeah, if I put my my magic circle down, it's really over my knee. And why don't we actually add a little interim here? So two hands on the magic circle. Again, they can also be on a on a ball or on pillows or directly on your knee and squeezing down to grow and squeezing down to grow. Last one, this is very gentle work. We are not in a moment in life where we need to be stressing out too much. And let's add some squeezing here. 
arm work is important now. And soon we will be using these muscles a lot. Five more. Here we have our left arm, right? That's working asymmetrically. It's working harder to squeeze on this circle. Two more. Last one. And other side. So left arm over our right. And pushing the circle down to grow. Release and again, grow and tall and release. Last one and release. Two arms are holding and we have squeeze. Yeah, so we're doing ten to each side. All breaths here. It's a great place to really work on lung capacity. Five more. start to sink down and last one we're 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 squeeze 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 and relax let's stretch the neck out a little so we have right hand onto onto the left ear try to really release the left side melting it other side. Really release. So I'm really not, I'm not pulling at all. I'm just, I'm just placing my hand on my ear. And two hands behind the head. Inhale. And forward. Let's get some calf stretches in. That's what we really need, don't we? So lean back, your right leg into the magic circle, and extend the leg out. Really flex it back. Enjoy the stretch. Exhale. Again, if you don't have a circle, you can place two hands behind your knee and also lean back again and just extend it long and flex your foot tight. Two more breaths here, just a nice long stretch. down. Other side. So we have extending long. Really flex. Use your magic circle to pull back. Five full breaths. Good, and 
we're going back, two hands in the magic circle. And we're gonna do back extensions and squeezes now. This is gonna go a little bit quicker than the last, uh, the last series. So we have arms up. Notice that you're really sitting tall in your sits bones. Draw your shoulders back. And we have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. For those of you that want an added challenge, we can do the standing up. Yeah, and then we have another 10 here. So you can get up on your tippy toes or just stand, uh, stand straight. That might be enough of a challenge uh, right now. And we have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. A light twist to the right. And we have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three shoulders down, two, this is a gentle twist, one, other side, and nine, eight, the hip bones are looking forward, Three, two, one. That was some nice bicep work. And have a seat again. And we're gonna continue with this a little bit. You're gonna put your hands inside the magic circle. Inhale, and on the exhale, it's like you wanna break it open. Exhale to grow. Inhale, release slightly. Exhale, break it open. This is a surprisingly intense exercise. You can also do this with a towel. Yeah, you hold on to a towel and kind of wrap it around your, your, your fist and you try to rip it open. This is a very nice exercise for your shoulder girdle, your scapular muscles. Two more, inhale and exhale. Last one. Yes, and release. Let's go on to some stretches. So we have putting the magic circle down next to you on the right side. Arm up and up and over. So if you don't have the magic circle here, you can take a coffee table and place it next to you. I kind of just want something that will give you a little bit more stability here, yeah? So, up and over, nice stretch to the side, releasing in the head. And one more. Nice. And from here, Let's stretch out that shoulder girdle that we just worked on. So to do that, we're going to extend the left leg out. Right? You might need to reposition yourself on the chair a little bit. And flex that left foot. So the inner part of the foot is on the floor. And you're flexing it out. And then from here, again, like you can do this with a hand on, a, on, a, on another chair, or on a coffee table, whatever helps you stabilize here. Yeah, if you don't have a, a Pilates uh, circle. And then, from here, where we have curling the shoulder in. So it's like you want to touch the side of the circle and inhale to open the chest. This should feel really nice. Open the chest and extend it out. And two more. And open. And last one. And opening the chest. And nice. 
you're fully coming back to center. And we have the other side. So, arm. And we lift up. And over. And again, up and over. Nice stretch to the side body. Last one. And again, reposition yourself on the chair a little bit and extend your right leg out, flex it down on the floor. And from here we have up and over. And then we curl down and inhale to open your chest. If you're feeling that this is really kind of squeezing the belly too much, then you can just do kind of a half roll, right? So, and then you kind of Pull your right shoulder back as you pull your, your right fingers forward. That'll give you a nice stretch. And inhale. And last one. Inhale. Let's just do one more for good measure. Inhale. Good. Find your seated position again. And roll your shoulders back. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this short arm and back series and I hope to see you again next time.